Simon, Maidenhead United tomorrow, what are we expecting from them? Well, same as we expect from all Avon and Devonshire teams really, you know, they'll be, they'll be direct, they'll be physical um, and they'll be competitive and certainly we've got to match that and they've got a bit of quality in their team as well. So, they're yeah, looking forward to a, a tough game but it's a good challenge for us. Maybe they're one of those teams who slightly gone under radar. I know they're coming to uh, tomorrow's game on the back of a couple of defeats, but they've yeah. had a, a really, really decent season. Listen, Alan does a brilliant job. You know, he does a really good job at every club he's been to, and you know, <clears throat> on the back of three defeats, I think it is for them um, coming into it. But you know, our job's to sort of make it a difficult afternoon for them again. So it's a it's a time of the season, a tight uh, end of the season. We have lots of games to come and, and lots of points to pick up. How have the boys reacted in the first couple of training sessions? From what I've seen, the vibe seems to be really good amongst the boys. Yeah, absolutely. Listen, they've been a they've been a good group to work with. You know, we set our we set our standards pretty quickly. You know, for day one, we met the boys and uh, and told them what we're about. I think they know what what we're about. I know a few, and I know a few know about me. Um, <clears throat> so listen, we've got no problem with our working relationship. They're, uh, my job's to get the best out of them, as I said in my first interview. I'm here to help them become better, uh, and, and they understand that, and I'll be on at them, uh, but from a place of caring, and I think that's important. We've had a couple of additions yesterday in the two Sams, <coughs> Sam Skeffington yep. and Sam Beard. Just tell us a bit about those two and what you think they'll add. Well, obviously, we were short as a, of a left-back with um, Jerome, uh, injured, so natural balance off the left uh, left side with with Sam Beard, uh, young player, uh, hungry, wants to get better, wants to improve. Comes from the league below, from a successful team, so it brings a winning mentality here, um, and a good character. You know, I, don't, I think anyone who watches Sam play um, will see that he gives hundred percent, and that's minimum requirement for me. Um, with yeah, and with and Skeff's the same, you know. Uh, obviously, I worked at Millwall uh, for a while. I watched a lot of Millwall's 23s. He always impressed me. Good energy, gets around the pitch, picks up second balls, aggressive, uh, lots of good energy. Uh, and again, something that I think will be a real benefit to the team. And, a, and again, a, a real good kid. In the case of Sam, we've seen a couple of other clubs in the division go into the South and the National League North because of the early curtailment. Yeah. Great opportunity for someone like him to come and play full-time football and really stake a claim in terms of the big rebuild that, that the club's trying to do ahead of next season. Absolutely and uh, you know Sam had some interest from other other clubs, um, delighted that he chose to come to us at the uh, at this stage of the season and say great opportunity for him, full-time training, fantastic facility, you know with the environment we're trying to create here you know I think there's nothing young players can look here and there's no better place for them to go really. In terms of the confidence, I remember you saying that the boys as a group are fragile. If we can, obviously the performances sometimes have seen us lose by three or four goals. Yeah. Is it about finding a, a foundation tomorrow and <coughs> something to work off? Absolutely, you know, we have to build into it and as I said before, break the game down and, and make sure we're hard to beat and be in games for, for longer periods than we have been previously. Um, but I said all week we've been drilling into them about being honest, being hard working, you know, being respectful to each other, they're big things for me. Um, and I'm sure <clears throat> as the game as the season goes on, you'll see certain improvements and we hope that to start tomorrow. Just lastly, there's been obviously we've spoken previously about the situation with the league, but the, I guess the huge motivation aside from the three points is walking off that pitch to our net knowing A, we've given it absolutely everything, and B that the pride we could walk off with, with a victory. Absolutely, listen minimum requirement you play for a team that I'm in charge of hard work honesty respectful to each other you know demanding of each other all the qualities that I look for in people as well as their players you know so uh, it's something that we'll be drilling into them and I'm sure it's something the group have got you know we may have lost our way over the, the course of the season but just trying to prod and poke and, and re-wake the fire in some maybe um, but certainly going forward, it'll be something that we'll be a big emphasis on.